Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In our previous session, we have seen how can we calculate a serial stacks uh, on any tra uh, transaction. And today we will be know uh, knowing about how can we apply the various uh, discounts uh, uh, while uh, calculating the sales tax. So let's begin. So based on the uh, uh, relationship with the customer, they are entitled for certain uh, kinds of discounts. So if we talk about discounts here, so it can be set as fixed, am fixed amount or percentage for items. Discount can also be specified across a group of items or for a single line item. So if we talk about NetSuite here, so here we have two uh, kinds of discount method. That is, we can apply discount method to all the items, or we can. I would say that it uh, we can apply discount to a group of item. The other method that we have is we can apply the discount to a specific or uh, item or to a single line item only. So these are the two methods that we can use. There are certain steps that are to be followed while uh, applying uh, sales tax on the discount item. The first step is we have to understand the discount method to be applied on uh, to the item, like whether we are applying it onto the group or whether we are applying it uh, to a single or a specific line item only. Then we have to review the calculation logic for sales tax on discount item. It helps in understanding how the choice of discount method can affect the tax that is charged for a sales order or invoice. Then the last step is we have to choose the uh, to apply the discount. So uh, what happens uh, in a, we can apply uh, the discount method before or after sales tax. So you usually if uh, by default in NetSuite, the discount uh, is applied after sales tax. So this is the default method. So these are the uh, steps that are there for the application of sales tax on the discount item. So for better understanding of both the scenarios in which we can apply the discount onto the items, so here I have taken the two methods that is discount on the on all item or a group of item or I have taken uh, the discount that can be applied that can be applied on a line item. So here you can see if I take the first uh, method into consideration. So here the taxable item is of 3500. I have taken here two items. The one is for 2000 and the other is for 1500. So the subtotal that has arrived is uh, 3500. Now we'll be uh, reviewing the calculation logic here. Uh, so since I have taken two items here, so for if I take the first one that is uh, for uh, 2000, so here I have taken the tax rate that is 3%. So 3% uh, uh, of 2000 has come to uh, 60. Now, uh, if you see over here, uh, if we are applying discount on all, on all the items, so uh, you can see that <clears throat> The tax amount that is coming uh, for uh, 2000 uh, costing item is 60. So if I take 15%, this is the discount rate, 15%. So if I take 15% of this 60, so it comes to 9 here. So as uh, the discounts are always be deducted uh, from the uh, amount. So here also we have to deduct this uh, discount amount uh, from the tax amount. So when I deduct 60 from 9, so that the tax amount for the first item that is for 2000 is 51. Uh, this is the, uh, this is for the first one. So if we take the other uh, item that is for 1500, again, I have uh, applied a tax rate here that is 4%. So the tax amount comes is uh, 60. Again, I have applied discount uh, for 15% on this 60 that has uh, come to uh, 9. So I have deducted uh, 9 from this 60. So again, the tax amount is 51. So when I add both these amounts, so we'll arrive at 102 and you can see that under the tax total for the first method, the tax amount that is coming is 102. Now you will be uh, thinking that how uh, this uh, 5 to 5 has come. So this 5 to 5 has come uh, when we take as the discount rate is 1500. So when we take 15% of this 3500, that is the uh, total taxable amount. So the discounted amount is uh, 5 to 5 that will be deducted from this uh, 3500. 
so when 3500 will be deducted uh, sorry when 525 will be deducted from 3500 so we will be having 2975 and we when we add uh, 102 that, that is the tax amount to 2975 so we'll arrive at the uh, total amount due uh, for the uh, sorry for the invoice that is 3077 so this is the uh, first way uh, for applying the sales tax on the discount item wherein uh, where we are applying discount to all the items so we have to follow this calculation logic here now we'll move to the application and see how can we apply this discounted method so we have to create an invoice first so transaction sales create invoices so this is the invoice page i have selected customer date and all here now location is to be selected then currency list since subsidy america is here usd now i will be taking here the uh, discount item since we are applying it uh, uh, on the group so we have to when we are applying discount onto the group so we have to mention the discount item here so i am selecting this one you can see that the rate followed by this uh, discount is 15 percent now i will select the item here amount is two thousand dollars we have to select the tax code here Again, we have to take the another item here. So, fifteen hundred. Its rate is four percent. now i have clicked on add i have provided the discount information here that is the rate is 1500 so here you can see the things that we have done in the excel sheet are appearing on the summary tab the subtotal is here the discounted amount that is uh, 15 percent of 3500 uh, that comes to 525 this is our tax amount this is the combined amount uh, 51 dollars for the first uh, line item and uh, 51 for us uh, uh, 51 for the other line item so the tax total is 102 and we have seen how have we calculated this tax and the subtotal and the total amount due is 3077 this amount is also appearing in our excel sheet so in this way we can apply the first uh, method that is how can we apply the discount on a group of item so we'll move towards the other method when we are applying discount on a line item so for that the calculation logic would be you can see that for the second line item i have taken uh, the amount is a uh, fifteen hundred dollars so i will be first i will be calculating discount for it that is fifteen percent of fifteen hundred that comes to 225 you can see that it is appearing into the discount item uh, column here then i i will be calculating tax on it like for uh, 2000 we have selected a, a rate over the tax code uh, that uh, which rate uh, is three percent so it comes to 60 the other line item is 1500 and uh, which uh, has the rate of four percent so again the amount has come to 60 and the total tax amount for this particular method is 120 you can see that this 120 is appearing on the tax total it is quite simple since we have calculated discount only on the line item and uh, the item that is appearing at last on the second uh, line that is uh, for 1500 so we have calculated discount on it and the tax uh, would be similar uh, sorry would be uh, not any you know uh, kind of uh, complex calculations involved in it you can see that the subtotal how this 3275 has come so first we have to deduct the uh, 225 from this 3500 so we'll arrive at 23275 now we'll be adding 120 to it so we can have this uh, total amount that is 3395 
so this is how the uh, discount can be or sales tax can be calculated uh, when we are applying discount on any particular line item we'll see the same in our application i will be applying it here so for applying discount on line item we have to remove it from here since we have to apply it on the line so you can see i have selected these two now for the item i will be selecting here this discount item you can see that uh, for 30, uh, 15% of 3500 is 225 it is already appearing here now i will click on add so here you can see since the discount has already been deducted from the total that is 3500 uh, so 225 has been deducted from the 30 uh, from 3500 so the subtotal is 3275 and the total uh, tax to, uh, is total tax is 120 dollars and the uh, if we add uh, with this 1223 so uh, 3275 so we'll arrive at 3395 so this is how we can apply the discount uh, on a single line item so we have seen how uh, can we apply the different different discount methods uh, and how can we calculate tax uh, it can be before say, the discount can be applied before sales tax or after sales tax but by default it is selected as after sales tax so that's all about the topic in case of any uh, doubts and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you